Hey, everyone, and welcome to this special sit-down event. I have here Jared Berry from Indiana, Pennsylvania. was kind enough to come down for an interview. So, Jared, for anyone who doesn't know who you are, can you just tell them a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do? Well, my name is Jared Berry, as you said. I am from Indiana. As of right now, I'm 15. I am a hip-hop artist, and I'm a dreamer, as some would say. And I just believe in spreading positivity and everything like that. It's just negativity. What's the point of it? Right, right. Now, what would you say is your musical sound? What, uh, what would you describe your music as? Honestly, I would describe it as unique, but that's just me. I don't know how others would describe it. I've been like, told it's a resemblance of Mac Lamore and Jake Miller and stuff like that, but then I've been told that it's nothing like anyone else's. So that makes me feel good because you have to have your own individual selling factor in this industry and that's I just get happy when people tell me that. <laughs> and like you said, uh, some people have compared you before to Jake Miller mm -hmm. and Malcolm Moore, but do you look up to them musically or have you looked up to other um, more established artists in the past and not try to emulate them, but yeah. say, you know, I want that, that's what I want. Well, some, some artists that I really do look up to would probably have to be Malcolm Moore and Jake Miller because they're all about spreading positivity, but also Eminem, the Beastie Boys, uh, Kendrick Lamar, all of TDE really, and just yeah, just people like that who are really pushing it and getting their grind in and everything. Something that I think is unique uh, about you and all artists, especially coming out now, is you use social media, you use Twitter and Instagram a lot to communicate with your fans and show them a little glimpse in your life. How important is it, or has social media become, do you think, to uh, help an artist, you know, reach out more than they did 10, 15 years ago? Honestly, I think social media is the main key behind it all. You need social media. If you don't have it, it's really, like, not to be mean or anything, but there's really no point in doing it because that's, like, you can do the street thing, but you're going to get out there a lot more with social media. Like, getting your music out, getting the downloads, the views on YouTube, the interviews and everything, you just need social media. That's all I can say is you need it. And you don't think that it would be possible, you know, to go the same route that uh, we were talking about Eminem before we came on, the yeah. same route that he did, you know, you just have your mixtape and there was no Twitter, there was no YouTube. Do you think that the, that era has passed? Honestly, I, I do. I personally do. It's a completely different thing now with everything and it's just, yeah, I don't see that happening. I mean, it could happen, but not very often. Well, I'm going to stick uh, here on the track with your fan base. And uh, I saw on your website that your fans are called the Penguin Pack. So what yeah. is it? How did that name come about? Did they just decide to name themselves that, or did you give them that name? Honestly, the Penguin Pack was an older fan base name I had for Pittsburgh Pride and everything. But I, I changed it to the Jerry Bear Nation. And the Jerry Bear Nation is just a unique name I came up because we're all about peace, love, and bears. And what I mean by that is, it sounds a little weird, but we're all about peace and love and keeping the peace and showing the love, but you always need that fierce side because you can't back down, you can't do that, you can't let people step on you, you got to keep going. And something that I'm glad you mentioned that it's all about positivity and the love. All of your music, even the remixes that you've done, which I, I have to say I'm very impressed oh, thank uh, you. with what's been done, but it's always very positive. It's You're not talking about getting money and getting women, something that you know is very prevalent in rap music today. How important is that to s t for you to send a more positive image, not just to your fans, but just to put it out there musically for everyone to listen to? I feel I've been told that it's gotten some people through very rough times in their life, and whether they were drug addicts, they were alcoholics, or had some emotional issues with cutting and stuff like that, stuff that I want to preach about to people so they can quit that. And it's just some, I feel very strongly about that. And it's, I don't know, it's just positivity. Mm -hmm. like you put a smile on someone's face that feels 10 times better than making them feel bad about absolutely, themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Jared, I want to go back a little bit. Now, when did this dream of wanting to be in music come about? When did you decide this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? Well, I, uh, back in the third grade, I was in Ohio, and I remember correctly if I'm right. In the third grade, we were in our little reading area, 
And I walked up to a bunch of kids. I'm like, let's start a band and go on a world tour. <laughs> and the biggest kid in the room, I walked over, you want to be our, bar- our, bodyguard? our bodyguard? And he's just <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, let's do it. And then after that, I would moved to North Carolina. I started a local band. We made a CD. That was the first time I've ever gotten to, like, engineering music. And it was, I was this fourth grader recording on an MP3 player. <laughs> <laughs> and then came back to Pennsylvania, stopped music for a little bit. I got into beatboxing, and this beatboxing is this. And it's just stuff like that, because everybody's like, oh, beatboxing is rapping. No, no it's not. Right, not it's at totally all. Different. And then that's, I got into that, and then singing, I would sing, and I just didn't like singing too much. I sing, but not as much as I love rapping. I got into rapping in this past year. That's when I took it seriously. That's when I decided I want to really go somewhere with this. Now, I know you said that you really started taking it very seriously um, back in 2012, but have you always expressed yourself through music? Is it an out? I've heard a lot of artists say, you know, that music would help me get through this, and that's why I love it so much. Is that the same case for you? Yeah, it it is. I find it more helping others get through their situations is what helps me get through mine. Because when I make a song, I go in, I'll go through my news feed on Twitter, whatever it is, and that's kind of, I've never heard that, but... And I think it's kind of weird, but that's how I get inspirations for a song. If I see, like, oh, my boyfriend just cheated on me, I'm like, maybe be other people like that. Or, or oh, my family member just passed away, and I'm having a really rough time. Or I just need a smile on my face. Or just something, anything like that. That's where I get inspiration and just other music in general and stuff like that. And just I, I see hip-hop as a sport and wanting to one-up each other. Mm-hmm. But I do to a certain extent, and then it's all about the fans and everything like that. Now, when you said that you um, you are inspired when you see things on Twitter, or even you know if you see a situation, you can write a song about it. Is that the same way on stage? Do you just feed off the energy whenever you're performing oh, uh, for different people on there? What is it that you love about being on the stage? I I don't know. I just get in a totally different zone, in a completely different zone. I'm I don't even feel like I'm on Earth anymore. I'm just high off life, high off the energy and I'm just going at it, me and the mic, and I'm getting the audience. It's just a, an amazing feeling. So I don't it's know how to describe like, it. like, you know, there's the Jared, you know, on you know, a regular Tuesday going to school, mm-hmm. and then there's the Jared on stage. Are they totally different people, or do you see some of yourself, you know, if you're just walking the street, do you still feel that same way, you know, that power, that uh, inspiration, or does that all come when you walk on the stage? I'm a weird person. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Nothing I wrong with that. I am just the same person all together. I will talk to you the same as I'm talking to you right now. If we weren't, like, cameras rolling and everything, lights on. I'm just the same person in general. I, I'm a little weirder off camera, obviously. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a cool thing to be. Like, you can be yourself and people will love you for that. Mm-hmm. It's just great. Now, um, something I want to ask, and I'm glad that you uh, brought some support with you here today mm-hmm. is how do you keep yourself grounded? Because you know, sometimes there are there's a bad reputation when uh, people you know not that they start their dreams young, but when they get in this business and then sometimes the success goes to your head. Mm-hmm. How do you keep yourself from not going up in the clouds and forgetting everything that you know you came from? I don't. Th- I just don't see how people could forget where they came from. You have all the people. I. Honestly, I posted on Facebook, I will most likely notice my fans before they notice me mm-hmm. because I feel like I know so many of my fans from social media, like liking my Facebook posts or retweeting what I have on Twitter and everything. And it's just, I don't know, I really want to, I see nervous fans all the time. I just want to walk up and be like, are you Jared Barry? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's great. I just, I don't know. It's just a fun thing. And I have my family, of course, to keep me grounded. If I were to ever get like that, I'm just pop my airhead and just deflate. And you mentioned your family. When uh, you first came to your parents and said, uh, you know, this is what I want to do, what was their reaction? You know, because, of course, everyone wants, you know, everyone thinks that their child is special, but were they ever worried that, you know, they didn't want you to get your hopes up, or were they just very supportive the entire way? I've never seen them like that. They're always supportive. They've always been, and I hope always will be supportive of my craft and what I'm trying to do with spreading positivity. Now, if I weren't, and if I were 
swearing in songs or talking about drugs, I guarantee they wouldn't be totally support. Yeah, no, that. But it's not even from them. I showed that if I don't swear or whatever, it shows a more lyrical ability in what I do. And I just don't know. I mean, what? But back to what's the point of negativity, right. honestly? And you know, in your new song dedicated to this, it's totally. It, it's absolutely not negative at all. It just mm -hmm. speaks about you know basically going for your dreams. Uh, now, how did you did you write that song yourself? Yeah, no, Sorry. I did everything myself besides produced it. That was produced by Denod, and I believe he. I can't remember where he's from. I always forget this. South America, or Colombia. I, it's one of the two. I know that, but yeah, he's he's an amazing producer. And I just went off the beat. I knew what I wanted to do. And the, the first verse was originally supposed to be a contest verse in a magazine contest, but I missed the deadline, so I thought, you know, I'm going to save this, and then it just came about dedicated to this. And I really, I enjoy the message, and I'm hoping other people do. So, How did that message come apart? Were you inspired like something that you said, saw on Twitter, or was it something that you had seen just, you know, on a normal day? How did, the, how did that inspiration come to you for that? Song? I will be 100% honest with you. The inspiration came from people in messages on Facebook. I'll have fans message me and say, oh, Jared, it's crazy that you're going here, there, wherever, and I wish I could do that. I wish that I could. And that's what I'm saying in the first verse of dedicated to this. I say, getting told I won't amount to anything every day. I get laughed at by students as well as teachers. Time to head to the church. I get confessions for the preacher. And it's just all that. And it's saying that I've gone through rough times trying to achieve this. I've done all this, and I have goals as well. Towards the end of the verse, I say about I want to win more awards and everything. And then I switch it up and talk about how people want to be doctors, lawyers, or in the National Football League. On Whatever your wildest dream is, you have to go for it. You only live once, and you have to go for it. Now, you, it's true. You only live once, mm -hmm. and you have this great dream. Do you think there will be a point that you will say, all right, I've done what I've wanted to do, I've done everything I can, and leave it, or is this something that you're going to continue with for years to come? Never. I will definitely continue this. Fantastic. Whatever. If, if, nothing, if nothing happens, if I'm working at McDonald's or whatever, I'll still be putting music on iTunes and everything. There's, I just can't stop. Now, is there any chance that there's going to be a full album coming out anytime soon? Can you give like the fans a little insight into that, or is that still, still under wraps? Within the next couple of years, be expecting my freshman album. Fantastic. And I'm going to give you one last question, Jared. In 10 years, I know you're 15, you're still very young, still working your craft. Where do you hope you will be 10 years from now? 10 years from now, I hope that I will still be on my grind, be visiting bigger places, seeing new things, going on tour, and releasing my sophomore album, and just having a great time. Family, friends, loved ones, everything. Fantastic. Very nice, very nice. Now. Jared, thank you so much for thank coming you. in today. Thanks for having me. It's great to have Jared Berry here. Follow him on Twitter at Jared Berry, hashtag Jared Berry Nation, everyone. Yeah. Uh, for everyone here at CUTV, I'm Dylan Hyman. Have a great day, everybody.